So I had a pretty busy day. Uh, been working on my big course. It's gonna be 52, no, not 52, 26 weeks, like half a year long. Uh, tons of awesome content. And on that note, you know, the awesome backpack. By the way, the reason I'm wearing a backpack is because I decided I can't take it anymore. I can't hold my laptop in my hand uh, with the briefcase. I hate it so much. Uh, so now I look like a school student, uh, which is kind of funny because I don't think I've even picked up the uh, certificate of graduation uh, on 12th grade, grade high school. So yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, so I've been working on it and it's a ton of work, like lots of writing, uh, thinking, planning, uh, changing things uh, sooner I'll need to uh, also start building uh, pages for the website setting up systems you know the sales system the funnel the actual website uh, making sure there's no errors and, and more and more and more so tons of stuff and uh, again that leads to the message I want to talk about which is Sometimes you just have to put in the fucking work. So, you know, I like to talk a lot about getting there quickly. You know, like, uh, for example, learn how to sell, uh, make thousand plus dollar sales, uh, make like one, two a week. You, you got yourself like 5,000 plus a month uh, in almost net profit. You know, stuff like that. But if you really think about it, um, these things take time. And where do they take time? Well, if you don't have an audience, it takes time to build an audience. It also takes time to learn how to close uh, sales, for example. I remember when I just started, um, I was really bad. <laughs> now, I wasn't really bad because I you know, was actually bad at selling because the type of selling I teach is more value-based. It was more that I was just very, very anxious and it was very hard for me to pull the trigger, kind of like when you're still new uh, with girls and you know you need to kiss the girl and you know it's time to kiss the girl but you're like, uh, I don't want to and then you don't pull the trigger so you don't close the sale, something like that. Um, you know, it also takes time to develop a good body uh, it took me time to develop wisdom, uh, not just time, but a lot of uh, failures. <laughs> and failures take time. So, so in that sense, one moment. In that sense, it does also take time. Um, everything takes time. The only thing that doesn't take time is finding peace. Uh, you know, being peaceful, uh, finding serenity, stillness. But even that, um, which you do again when you find stillness. It is done in the present moment, uh, but even that uh, took time for me to learn. So everything takes time sorry, to build, to grow, to, to develop. Um, and where I'm going with this is if there is a goal that you have, um, whether you're goal is to become more fit, uh, meet more people or women or men in general, you know, more money, <laughs> anything. It all starts with that one step. So it all starts with um, reading that book, uh, creating the website, you know, anything that is like a step towards the goal. What I like to do is to learn from the best so uh, when I want to you know become better in, when I wanted to become better in fitness I met a guy named George Lehman obviously met online uh, the guy's the United States deadlift champion uh, paid him about a thousand bucks and uh, he coached me basically through emails and a bit of Skype when I wanted to learn how to sell expensive shit online I met a few online marketers that did just that now that I'm focusing on products again 
I'm sticking with my friend who's making four or five, six thousand dollars, you know, almost a, every day from selling these, you know, products. So the road is always clear. Like I always know what's next. I always know what I need to do now because I have these mentors that I follow. And if I don't have the mentors, that's the first step. Not So the first step to any goal I have is to find someone who accomplished whatever I wanna accomplish and then put myself next to him so I can learn what he did uh, so that I can start building a step-by-step -step plan. I'm not gonna start building a step-by-step -step plan before I met somebody who did it because I don't want to be the one who discovers the wheel. Uh, in the words of uh, Russell uh, Branson, I think, uh, the, basically the, the uh, CEO of ClickFunnels, he says that the pioneers are the guys with the, on their like, face with the errors in their back. Because these are the people that made all the mistakes for you <laughs> to try so in, in many ways I am a pioneer because I've done so much shit unplanned just took so many risks and fell a lot um, on one hand I, I I would like everyone to have the wisdom I have and and the experience I learned but on the other hand a lot of it could have been avoided if I just had the proper father figure you could say like mentor that would not just teach me how to do cool stuff but actually had someone around to keep me in check that I would actually listen to because I wouldn't listen to my family or friends or anything I actually got them on board <laughs> with my big ideas so once you have the mentor and you have the step-by-step -step plan all you need to do is execute now the more successful your mentor is the faster uh, you'll succeed as well this is because the more successful your mentor, the higher your level of expectation is. So it's not just about what are your goals, like, oh, I'm aiming to make this much money or become this fit. It's also about how much do you actually believe you can achieve in a relatively short amount of time. And the more successful your mentor, the more you can usually see yourself achieving in a short amount of time because it seems feasible so the general uh, formula I found is that about 10-15% of what your mentor has accomplished you can accomplish in a year two years max so um, that's why I want to find a mentor as good as possible so if your mentor is making let's say a um, hundred thousand um, a month hundred thousand dollars that means that by next year, uh, on average, you'll make probably around 10,000 a month, maybe 15, 20,000 uh, at best. Uh, of course, you could do much more. You could not do that even, but that's the expectancy. So find a mentor who's as good as possible. And then when you take the actual step-by-step -step thing and you actually you know, practice it and do it, Again, that's where patience comes in. And I made the mistake of not being patient a lot of times because I have the gift and the curse of being talented. So usually I get really fast results whenever I do something uh, and then I get discouraged because the, the rate of growth slows down. Um, for example, the book. So the, the day I started selling the book. I didn't do a lunch or anything. I already sold in the next two, three days about four or five books. And I was like, whoa, you know, that's way beyond what I expected. And then I had a couple of days where I sold nothing. So uh, this happened to me in so many different areas, you know, in fitness, um, in health, in uh, uh, just my general business, uh, spirituality even. So I know, I know it very well. So, so where I made the mistake was like saying, okay, it's not growing as fast as it did. So fuck it, I'm jumping ship. I'm going to the next thing. And what I do today is actually sit my ass down and keep working 
until I get the result. Like the only thing I ask is, am I doing the right actions? And if I know that I am, I'm gonna just keep doing it until I start seeing the results because the results come to those, not necessarily who wait, but those who work until they see it. So I'm not saying like, do it, then wait, see what happens. I'm saying work, 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 you know, <laughs> like the Beyonce song or Rihanna, I'm not sure. Uh, and then keep working until you see the results. Like don't fall when you first don't see a result. So what that means for me at least, uh, this current junction is uh, I'm gonna be spending the next couple of days working really hard, uh, just sitting my ass down, doing a ton of writing. I'm gonna code probably like eight, maybe 10 pages, cause I love it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to make the entire sales page, the uh, whole uh, webinar thing, uh, start making the first couple of weeks of content. And it's, it's awesome because I fortunately have the experience of sitting my ass down and seeing results, which you might not have. <laughs> And let me tell you that until you actually do it and sit and you know see the results from doing a lot of work, for example, doing a product launch, uh, growing your business, growing your YouTube channel, uh, fitness results, and until you actually see these results after a long, dedicated time of work, your brain is not gonna believe that you're actually capable of anything because you've never actually committed to anything so I want you to write down or just really think or if you want you can even comment it what is the most furthest that you've ever gone in something that you wanted to do like if you're into fitness you can be like okay Robbie I spent like two years uh, building my body and I got this result. Um, Robbie, I spent three years working on my music business. I sold this much, this many copies, got this many uh, lis listens, and then I stopped. Because you can basically see um, how much your brain believes you have a potential to succeed. And I'm not talking about how much you think you have the potential to succeed theoretically I mean how much your brain is actually willing to believe that you're able to succeed and it's almost always um, based on how far you've gone with something and it's a lot less a function of effort it's a lot more a function of simply uh, longevity time perseverance uh, even if you had a, a couple of hard years doing something where you just barely had it in you uh, but you just did it anyway, uh, that still counts because <laughs> you will make your breakthrough. So, again, if you want, write down how far have you gone in something. Um, for me, that would definitely be business. Uh, I don't think there's anything in life that I've gone as far as I did with because uh, I did, really took it to the extreme. Um, it was really like three, four years of insanity, <laughs> my uh, crazy business journey until I finally took the demon out, you could say, and chilled more. <laughs> now found, you know, more peace with still having the business acumen. And um, I'm hoping to take the business even much, much further now, uh, but on a very, very solid foundation. Again, I'm not coaching in the meantime until I get to five thousand dollars passive income I expect that by this rate I'll get there in like two three months maybe definitely by the end of the year um, and with that passive income I believe that by next month I'll be in uh, Thailand already easily <laughs> um, so yeah if you have any questions let me know if you watch this far, then thank you. Um, I'm off to work more. Uh, again, wake up early tomorrow, work all day long, then do the same. Then I'm going to a three, four day desert festival. 
uh, where I'm not gonna touch the computer at all probably um, yeah and that's let's like the updates so thanks for watching and see you soon bye bye